Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this big bobble stitch. So this is the bobble stitch for you if you're looking for some extreme, uh, larger than life almost texture. So these are extra large bobble stitches. This is your back of your fabric. Each of the bobbles forms a little bit of a bubble that pops to through to the front of your fabric. Today I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook and a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and there's links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern that is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to take a look around, subscribe. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our big bobble stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain for the stitch will need to be a multiple of six chains so today I'm going to start by chaining 24. and 24. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain two and turn your work. Your chain two does not count as a stitch. For row two, we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the first stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to work the first of our big bobbles. Now the big bobble stitch uh, is going to be made by uh, using a double treble seven together but all worked in the same stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over three times, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through two more. You're going to have two loops remaining on your hook and you're going to repeat that six more times. So yarn over three times, insert your hook into the same stitch, Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. There's twice, we want to do it a total of seven times, all into the same stitch. There's three, four, five, six, and seven. You will then have eight loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all eight loops. You're going to push your bobble forward, uh, forward so it's poking out through the front so, uh, of your work. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. You're now going to repeat. Work one big bobble in the next stitch. So yarn over three times, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. You want to work a total of seven of those. There's two, three, four, 
four. six and one more for seven you'll have eight loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all eight loops and then double crochet in each of the next five stitches you're going to repeat this all the way across until you have two stitches remaining and you'll double crochet in those final two stitches before chaining one and turning your work. When you come up all the way across at the end of row two, we're going to double crochet into our final two stitches. chain one and turn your work. You should now see all of your very big bobbles facing you. For row three we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row three, chain two, it does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. You're going to work another row of big bobble stitches. This time we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the first stitch, and then into each of the next four stitches. You're then going to work a big bobble into the next stitch. And by working five double crochet stitches beforehand, it just helps to stagger them a little bit. This is my sixth and seven, eight loops on my hook, pull through all eight. You're then going to work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches and then a big bobble stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You'll now have two rows of very big bobbles. For row five, we're going to work a half double crochet into our first stitch, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row five, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And that brings us to the start of the repeat for this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows two, which was a double crochet in each of the first two stitches followed by your big bobble stitch. So you're going to repeat your rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your ends and that's it for working this big bobble stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again i invite you to subscribe take a look around and i'll see you again soon until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.